Marketing is one of my favorite parts of any business. It's pretty exciting because it's when you start getting down into the nitty gritty and the results of your marketing, there, you know, you can see the results pretty quickly. It, it, it happens every time the phone rings a motivated seller calling you wanting to sell their house. Uh, it happens when you get that property under contract. It all starts from marketing. Now there's, um, just like your real estate investment, investment business, uh, you need to start by getting an education on the basics. You need to start by doing, you know, some background research and figuring out how the heck the thing works. It's the same idea with marketing. Um, there are a lot of marketing experts out there that, you know, regardless of the business, regardless of, you know, what area, they've got systems that will start the phone ringing. Um, guys like Dan Kennedy are, are one of them. He's pretty famous and he's, I've used his stuff. It's really, really successful. But you want to start by getting educated on marketing. Um, this is essentially putting together an advertising campaign for the people, giving them, a, a, the people that you want to reach, giving them a message, and then delivering it to them. And that's really what, um, what marketing is about. It's about making the phone ring and getting leads in the door. One of the most important things about marketing, after you've gotten educated, you got to be consistent. If you send out a piece of, uh, you know, a postcard mailer and you do it once a month or you do it, um, you know, once every six months, maybe, or every other Tuesday or whatever, you know, if, if you're not consistent with it, it's not going to be effective. You're not going to have that steady flow of leads coming in the door. You're not going to steadily have the phone ringing. You'll have sporadic deals here, sporadic deals there, but you will never get the consistency that you need to meet the goals on your business plan. So be consistent. And the last, I like marketing because it kind of tickles my, my, uh, the creative side of my brain. It's a, it's an opportunity to inject yourself into your business and, you know, show people who you really are. And at the same time, make them laugh, tick them off, whatever, as long as they pick up the phone. <laughs> so those are the basics. Let's talk about the three components, what, what are called the three M's of marketing. First is your market. The market is uh, essentially, they're the people that you want to reach with your message. It's very, very important to define who this is. If you're throwing out a message for everybody, everybody's going to see it and ignore it. It'll get drowned out in, you know, background noise. So, you know, who are you going to be targeting with your, um, with your real estate marketing? Um, there's a, a couple different groups of people. Um, probates, people that have inherited properties, that might be one. Uh, another one might be eviction filings. Uh, another one um, might be, you know, delinquent taxes. I mean, there, there's endless lists of, of people um, that, you know, that are going to fit the model of the people that they want or need to sell their house. That's who your target market is. But let's define them even further. So let's just take, um, let's use evictions. Okay. Who are the people that are filing for eviction? They're property owners, they're other investors, okay? So that's number one, they're investors, just like you. What else about them? Well, the ones that you really wanna target are not just the ones in eviction, but you also wanna, you wanna target the ones in eviction that are just sick and tired of dealing with the business, right? So they're sick and tired. What else? They might, the people that you're probably going to want to target, they might also be the ones that, um, you know, they're suffering from some financial difficulty because of this investment, um, investment property. And, you know, it's probably likely that these guys aren't full-time investors. They probably have a, a full-time job and this is a second or third, um, you know, it's a, it's a, retirement vehicle or an investment that it's not their primary source of income. So, um, let's see, not primary source of income. All right. So right here, we have a pretty good idea of the person that we want to talk to. These are people that have 
rental properties and eviction. We know that they're investors. We want to target the ones that are sick and tired of dealing with their investment. They might have some financial difficulties and, you know, likely their rental income is not their primary source of income. Okay, that's a pretty good definition of our market. That leads us to, you know, the next, uh, next thing on the list, the next M, message. What do we want to tell them? You know, if I had a property in eviction that I was just sick and tired of, I'd probably want somebody to come in and solve the problem for me. I probably want somebody to wash my hands of that issue. So we might write them a message. Maybe the message is, you know, are you sick and tired with dealing with tenant problems? I can purchase your property within seven days cash and relieve you of the tenant headaches. I buy as is, because remember, these people, they might be having financial difficulties. They're not gonna be able to fix up the house. I buy as is and uh, I can close quickly. So there's our message. The one thing that you always have to have in, in your message, there's two things. Number one, we need clarity. Very, 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 very important. I don't know about you, but you ever get an email from somebody, um, especially an RSVP to a party or something, with these evites, you get an evite, and it says, you know, RSVP by phone or email, um, you know, or just let me know. Well, what the heck are you supposed to do? Am I supposed to pick up the phone and call you or am I supposed to email it over or, you know, be clear. The second thing is you want a call to action. That call to action is a reason for them to call now instead of later. So, at the end of our message, you know, I can close in seven days, I'll take away your financial, I buy as is, all cash. At the end of, the, of your note, now you say, Pick up the phone and call me now, and I'll cover your closing costs. If you, you know, if you call me before the end of the week, I'll cover your closing costs. Give them an incentive to pick up the phone now instead of next week, next month, next year. Get the, get the calls coming, all right? So now we have a message. Okay, how the heck are we gonna get it to them? That is the media. This is a broad definition of media but it's the delivery system. It's how we're getting that message out there. What we wanna do here is we wanna start with our market and we wanna pair the message to the market so that our message is targeted to the people in that market. And now we also wanna tie in this media and we want that, that media to tie in with the market as well and also it's gotta tie in with the message. What am I talking about? Well, let me give you an example. If, um, all right, if you're trying to sell a high-end item, let's say a Porsche, is it likely that you're gonna advertise in a, um, in a magazine that whose main readership are those people that make under $20,000 a year? Probably not. If you have a product that is geared towards people that work during the day, are you going to put an ad on TV that's gonna run you know, while Judge Judy's on at noon? No. You want to make sure that this ma media and this message are geared toward that, toward that target market. And it, it can be really difficult. <laughs> Honestly, it can be very difficult to pair that just right. I like postcards for my direct mail and that's the media that I use. My message is gonna vary a little bit depending on my market. But postcards aren't the only way. You know, um, radio advertising, billboards, uh, email marketing is excellent. But it's important that we pair these together and when they pair together perfectly, where you have the perfect delivery system for your message to the perfect target audience, your phones will not stop ringing off the hook and it will be absolutely wonderful. You, instead of, um, instead of you know, sitting there waiting for the phone to ring, you'll have to very quickly analyze, is this something I want or not? So it gives you a lot more options. Um, mastering and becoming the king of marketing really will make the difference in your business and it's one of the biggest impacts that you can have on your real estate investing.